hey folks, would you like to see a couple of hacks that'll help you increase your growth, help you find products and help you understand the market of products and profitability you should be looking for? Hi, my name is Neil and I'm with the Voltage Business Builders. Uh, we have an elite group of builders that takes products and expands them to seven, eight, nine figures. And so what today I want you to teach you a little bit about uh, how to look for specific types of products and then go from there. So discover some products really quickly by moving into the node. Everybody wants to go into say the home and kitchen niche category, et cetera, or even department. We like to operate in nodes, which would be things like mixer parts and accessories. Why? Node ranking is more important than category ranking. And if the BSR of a product inside the node is 100,000 or less, consider it, okay? And look for products with competitive listings that have a full image tag, bullet points. They look professionally done. They've got their A plus content. We want to follow the leaders because it's okay to be number two until you have an opportunity to become number one in the node and slingshot past the top sellers, okay? There are millions of dollars to be made in great products and profitability by not having to just be the first best seller in every category or every node, just so we're clear, okay? So what happens when we do that? What we understand is that you need to know your numbers to go and not run your business on gut feeling. So many businesses run their business on gut feeling. You cannot do that. You must know your numbers. High demand plus low competition will equal a recipe for disaster. That means my product is less than $30. I may have five to $7 in profit. I have to keep my A cost at 30% or I can't make more money. And that is the wrong approach to this market of competition because sellers like us are going to dominate you if you don't play this way. Product 30 to $50 or higher will have greater profits and higher profits equal better PPC conversion opportunities. Even if your A cost starts at 100% or stays at 100%, your tacos or your total advertising cost of sales should be between seven and 15%. Once the product is selling and doing that, your ultimate goal is the vertical line I'm showing you, which is organic growth. Organic growth will give you full priced profitable sales. That is the holy grail. That's where you want to go. You want don't You do not want all your profitability or the growth of the business writing on PPC. You want PPC to enable the growth of that. And to do that, you need to choose competitive niches where competition is based on branding, not just price point or reviews, meaning it's solution-based oriented products that may be of higher value to the person and they do not just rely on the price uh, or the reviews to determine the value of the product's outcome for what they're doing, okay? So what does this mean? It means don't marry your products, okay? You can steal someone else's girlfriend instead. There are plenty of product opportunities uh, where you do not have to constantly wonder if I need to push this product or do a lot of awful Amazon marketing to try to get this product to rank on Amazon. It just means you have other factors on Amazon that are hindering you from getting that organic growth. Order 50 to 200 test units. Find a winner faster before ordering larger amounts. You wanna see this vertical line growth and if you don't see it on your test order, you won't see it on your full product launch. Ramp PPC only after your test proves that you can sell the product. Sales fixes everything. It's a mantra we have around here with our business builder, sales fixes everything. And that's what we need to figure out first. Revenue first, profit second, growth third, scalability fourth, giving us the full, what we call our platinum principle or the exit opportunity, okay? When that business has full profits and growth, okay? If a product does not start selling in a vertical growth line as shown, move to the next product. That's why we test first and we fully launch second and we scale to growth third, or go from growth to scale third and fourth, okay? AI is going to change the way searches run in 2024. This is such a big one. I wrote a big article uh, on my blog here recently about wh why BERT AI, which is basically borrowed from Google's algorithm developed in 2018, is going to transform the way the A9 engine ranks properly. There's a whole lot of things coming around. Semantic matching is something you should keep in mind, which is basically finding keyword phrases built within your listing to potentially remove seller's control literally over keywords and search terms that will be indexed inside the algorithm. So what does that mean? It means certain keyword listings and listings that are not hyper-focused on the relevant niche or product search terms and keywords for your product type could find themselves being deranked or de-indexed uh, when this goes into place because they are simply there by historical value or the number of reviews that they have and how long they've been in the market compared to new sellers. That means that certain listings you and I know are selling and I, like, how is that selling? That's not even possible. They only have three images on their image stack. They're gonna find themselves in a lot of trouble if they don't keep up with this. So start preparing your listings now to avoid deranking once this goes live. If you have any questions uh, or concerns about how that's going to work or stay on top of these things, especially for the products you are currently selling in the market or more importantly, products you're going to launch too. Uh, well, actually both of them are pretty important if you fall into this trap. 
if you like these tips, if you found that useful, if you want to know about BERT, if you want to know more about our product criteria, if you want to know more about growth and scalability because you might see stagnation or a downturn in your brand, join 4,500 other sellers right now at Voltage Business Builders newsletter. We do industry insights from eight plus uh, figure sellers, tips on growth, profitability, scale, AI initiatives, and more one to five times a week, including my High Voltage Business Builders podcast that does get produced and sent out to that newsletter. So grab your free spot at the QR code. At some point, I'm gonna make this a paid newsletter because I'm just giving too much away for free, but for now, it's okay. Scan this QR code, get on as a bonus, and go in, check these tips and other great information that's constantly being updated from that blog for free, and just stay up on the industry terms, uh, uh, industry definitions, as well as industry changes that are occurring. If you like these tips, go implement them now. If you have products that are sub 30 to 50, start looking at re resonating additional brand value. Look for products at less than 100,000 in BSR, 50 to 100,000 is a sweet spot. Go in for profitability first, and then you will get growth, okay? Sales fixes everything. Thanks for joining me. Again, my name is Neil. This is High Voltage Business Builders, and if you're interested, check out the information below, and I'll see you later.